Man, have I got a treat for you. There's this pronghorn. We call him airplane because his horns are so wide they look like he's got wings on his head. And I know where he's been grazing with the rest of the herd. It's going to take some doing to get up on him. Those pronghorn, they've got great eyesight and hearing. And once they see you, hey, they're going to head to the next county before you can blink. Thus, you're going to have to get within about 200 yards for a sure shot. cut out for you. Use the cover as much as you can. Rocks, brush, gullies, ravines, everything. In fact, you better be ready to crawl, sneak, and hide because if airplane sees you, you've got to freeze up right quick or you'll never get close enough. You'll need to get within 200 yards to take him down. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Painter Dog and welcome back to another episode of Ocabella's Big Game Hunt of Pro Hunt series. I hope you're having a lovely day. My day is actually quite good, thanks. As you can see, we are doing the pro hunt to hunt airplane. So uh, yeah, we need to get a bit closer. I'm going to do a small crouch walk to the stand and see if I can get a bit of elevation. And then we can see if we are within 200 yards of this car. Uh, probably not because we are walking at an angle and he's around there but I wanted to go to this side because I uh, the wind is blowing so, sort of in this direction so I want to get to here so we can try and take a shot at this guy so it's been a week since I recorded anything in a way with a fan family not really the fan family with uh, with Lady Pink Dog and uh, you know, we did a bit of uh, sightseeing and uh, wildlife photography and uh, just basic, basically in the bush, just around the corner from where we live. Didn't go far but it was lovely to get outside again. Let's see if we can get to this side and see if we can at least pin the guy again and make sure that we get the right to guy. This might be a bit of a boring side, but I don't want to rush this and I don't want to cut anything out just in case something strange were to happen. I'm no expert, but I don't see a stem or a blind Yeah, this draw will bring you right up to him, but you're going to have to get down on your belly to stay hidden in those shallow pieces of cover. Let's see. Oh, there's, there's the blind. This blind. Stronghorn femur. He is way out there. Wait up. Looks like one of the little guys just spotted you. And now we belly crawl. I don't want to spook these animals. Doesn't look like they spot me anymore, so uh, let's move. Now we're in a crouch. Let's see if we can walk around here. Okay, let's first see if we can spot this guy from here. There he is, 193 yards. <sighs> it's a little bit of a wide area, but let's see if we can get a uh, shot. 
that I went for a polymers, but now I might get a stomach shot. Luckily not. Almost a fine shot as well. That shot was a thing of beauty. Track him down and claim your trophy. I shouldn't have jumped off that. <laughs> but I was too excited. So let's spread the Oh, that's a great looking and scary, quite scary looking tree there. But now we can claim our trophy. That's something I would usually do on a hunt. As soon as I follow up, I would first sit down quietly and wait a couple of minutes and reload my rifle and just wait. Just about five minutes. But there we go. Congratulations, you worked your butt off out there, but in the end it was worth it. Nice job, real nice job. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio.